welcome you all to the lecture number 3 of our interference series here in this lecture we will discuss about newton's rings in last lecture we discussed about thin film how interference takes place in thin film we have calculated the condition for constructive as well as calculated the condition for destructive in thin film now we have an application of thin film so newton's ring is nothing but one application of thin film interference in the last video i have given you some numericals so let me know in the comment section if you have finished those numericals or if you face any problem in that numericals so let's start the newton's ring part so first we have to understand what is a newton's rings so when in thin film when light falls then there will be interference between the rays of light reflected refracted transmitted all this light there will be interference between them and we will get interference patterns then rings means what the circular concentric rings here when a thin film is created but for example we are considering a glass let a glass plate is given here clear a glass plate is there and a plano convex lens is placed over it plano convex lens clear plano convex lens radius of curvature let r so at this point you can see it touches the glass the glass is in contact with the lens at a single point so what is there in between them during this path this area this area is filled with air so between two glass between two different denser medium there is a layer of air which is rarer so it creates a thin layer film between the lower face of the plano convex lens and the upper face of the plane glass plate so this interference when interference takes place between this air film we get some rings that rings that interference patterns are in the form of concentric rings for that region this is known as newton's ring so it is written here when a spherical lens is placed over a glass surface if a glass surface it is placed then air film is created between them whose thickness is zero at the point of contact at this point thickness is always zero at point of contact thickness of the thin film zero but as we move this side at any point you find out when you move outside the thickness of the air film gradually increases on both side you can see thickness gradually increases when we view from view from above using monochromatic light when light falls then we can observe interference pattern and those interference interference patterns are in the form of concentric circular rings and these rings are known as newton's rings here we have to find out in similar way we have to find out the conditions for interference in constructive as well as destructive as well as we have to find out different parameters like the radius of the rings the wavelength of the light also we can calculate so let's go to the that part so first one is conditions conditions for interference let us consider a glass plate let a glass plate is there and over which a plano convex lens is present plano convex lens let this is the center or point of contact you can say when the ray of light falls when ray of light falls a part of light will refract here a part of light will refract and here also a part of light will reflect here again the refraction takes place so slightly it bends and ray of light travels now we are calculating now we are calculating the interference between these two light here you can see the first light is from the upper surface of the thin film and second light is from the lower surface of the thin film if the thickness of the thin film here is t we have to calculate what is the thickness we have to calculate what is the radius for that first we will discuss about the condition for thin film we know that for constructive for constructive we have the condition 2 mu t cos r equal to 2 n plus 1 lambda by 2 and for destructive 2 mu t cos r equal to n lambda or 2 n into lambda by 2 
बट हियर आर इक्वल टू बट हियर यू कैन सी आर इक्वल टू जीरो सो वाई आर इक्वल टू जीरो वेन लाइट फॉल्स फॉर पेंडिकुलरली ऑन द सरफेस देन एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस इज 90 मीन्स एंगल ऑफ रिफ्रैक्शन विल बी हियर जीरो डिग्री सिंस आर इज जीरो डिग्री सो द कंडीशन बिकम टू म्यू टी इक्वल टू टू एन प्लस वन लमड़ा बाई टू फॉर कंस्ट्रक्टिव सिमिलरली फॉर डेस्ट्रक्टिव टू म्यू टी अगेन कॉस आर कॉस जीरो डिग्री इक्वल टू वन इक्वल टू एन लमड़ा this is equation 2 this is for destructive one this is for constructive one clear now we get the condition for constructive and destructive now we have to calculate the radius of the circular rings if we draw let this is the sphere from which the spherical mirror is a part let at any instant at any instant let it is placed over the glass at an instant we are considering the thickness here t the thickness of the thin film is t if it is sphere then radius of curvature will be r here a o this point takes b okay let this is c this is d this is e these are the namings the points let this distance this is the radius of the ring because the rings will be formed over this glass surface so let this radius is smaller c2 is smaller from theorem of circle we know that this is capital r this total distance is also capital r capital r is here radius of curvature of the plano convex lens and small r is here capital r is radius of curvature of the lens and here we are using plano convex lens and small r is what small r is radius of the ring radius of the circular ring or newton's ring from theorem of circle we know that a to e a e multiplied by b e must be equal to c e multiplied by d e so what is a to e a to o is capital r o to b is capital r and this distance is t so a to e this will be 2r minus t 2r because a to b is 2r this distance is t this will be 2r minus t so 2r minus t then what is b to e b to e is, is small t small t equal to what is ce this is r de is also r so we get 2 rt minus t square equal to r square but small t the thickness of the thin film is very small so we can neglect neglecting t square we get 2 rt equal to r square clear we have to calculate the radius small r we have to calculate 2 rt equal to t square so here you can write small t equal to r square by 2 r remember this formula small t that is the thickness so from this formula we can calculate the thickness of the thin film we have this formula here you can see we have the conditions for constructive for destructive now we can easily calculate the radius of constructive ring the radius of the destructive ring. constructive ring means the light rings where light will be there the bright points destructive means the dark rings where light will be zero because we are considering a single source here so remember the conditions here for constructive 2 mu t equal to 2n plus 1 lambda by 2 so we have to use now that radius of radius of bright rings so we have the formula for constructive we have 2 mu t for constructive t 
2 mu t equal to 2 n plus 1 lambda by 2. Again, I am giving you the context from where we get here 2 mu t equal to 2 n plus 1 lambda by 2. And we get t equal to r square by 2 r. So 2 mu t 2 n plus 1 lambda by 2. So 2 mu in place of t, this is r square by 2 capital R equal to 2 n plus 1 lambda by 2. Now you can cancel 2 on both sides. Here also you can cancel 2. So we get 2 mu r square by capital R equal to 2 n plus 1 lambda or small r square equal to just cross multiplication 2 n plus 1 again we get lambda by 2 these two we have to divide here then divided by multiplied by r divided by mu r square we get but the film which is created here this film is made up of air so for air we can easily put mu equal to 1 but for air mu equal to 1 so this will be r square equal to 2 n plus 1 capital R lambda by 2 and r will be 2 n plus 1 capital R lambda by 2 square root. So this will gives us the radius of if we put n equal to 0 1 2 3 4 we will get the conditions this will gives us the radius of nth bright points bright points means the bright rings similarly we will calculate the condition for dark rings radius of dark rings for destructive we have the condition 2 mu t equal to n lambda again we have small t equal to r square by 2r which is equal to n lambda so r square equal to cross multiplication n lambda r divided by mu divided by mu so r will be square root n lambda r by mu but for ar ar we have mu equal to 1 so r equal to we get n lambda capital r square root okay so here n starts from 0 1 2 3 and so on 1 2 3 and so on here you can write on rn so this will gives us the radius of nth dark rings the first point will gives us the radius of nth bright rings and this will give us the radius of nth dark rings. Now we have calculated the radius of the rings. Next our aim is to calculate the diameter as well as next our aim is to calculate the wavelength of light. Calculation of wavelength. From this formula we can calculate. Okay. So here you can see we have the condition for radius r n equal to n lambda r square root. So, diameter of n ring d n diameter will be 2 times of r n. So, 2 square root of this formula square root of n r lambda n r lambda. So, its square will be d n square will be 4 n r lambda this is for n ring similarly for n plus p ring for example this is fifth ring we have to calculate eight ring so 5 plus 3 similarly n plus p ring for n plus p ring we can directly write down d n plus p square will be 4 n plus p r lambda equation number 2 if we subtract these two equation number 2 equation 2 minus equation 1 this will be d n plus p square minus d means your diameter d n square will be right hand side you can see 4 n plus p r lambda 4 n r lambda so this will be 4 p r 
lambda. Our aim is to calculate wavelength. So lambda will be d n plus p square minus d n square divided by 4 r p where lambda is the wavelength. Our aim is to calculate that wavelength. d n plus p is diameter of n plus p ring. d n is diameter of n ring and p is the difference between the orders. Capital R is the radius of curvature. So by using this formula, you can easily calculate the wavelength of the light used in the Newton's ring experiment. So these are the different parts of Newton's ring. Now your work is to practice all these derivations as well as there are some numericals for you. Practice all these numericals. I have given two numericals. Here you can see in Newton's ring experiment, the diameter of 10th dark ring is found to be 1.5 millimeter. Fifth dark ring is 1 millimeter. Diameter is given. And radius of curvature capital R is given. Capital R is given. Now we have to find out wavelength. Use that formula directly. Calculate wavelength and let me know in the comment section how, how much of result you are getting for wavelength. Similarly, another question is given. In Newton's ring experiment, the radius of fifth dark ring is 0 0.5 millimeter. If the radius of curvature of plano convex lens is 1.2 meter, then calculate the wavelength. Here also calculate lambda. Question number one. Question number two, calculate the wavelength for question number one and question number two and let me know in the comment section. I will check each student's comment. I will let you know whether it is correct one or not. Okay. So we will meet in the next video. Thank you.